be is motorised limbo. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, it is obvious when you think about it. Yeah. Maybe a century. Yeah. Anyway, we can do it here, ladies and gentlemen. So, without further ado, please bring on the wall. See it here, descending from the ceiling of the arena. And now, whilst that descent, can you please bring on the limbo riders? Here they are, ladies. Now, for the purposes of this event, we're going to divide the auditorium into two. Everybody on this half over here, you are effectively my team, and we are represented by Dan. <laughs> and everybody on that side of the auditorium, you are Hammond's team, and you are represented by Frog. Yeah! Yeah! yeah. 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 Oh yeah! Yeah, we've got some noise going on my side. We are ready. Bring it on! Bring it on! Well, that's what you're saying. Bring it on! Well, I've already brought it on. I said, bring on the wall, bring on the vines. Yeah. Well, I, well. Leave it on! Oh, well, of course, I'm going to leave it on you, blithering it. You've done the event yet. Yeah, I'm not going to bring it on and then take it off. Just, right. just get on with it! Right, here is how it works, ladies and gentlemen. The motorcycling limbo riders will get up the ramp, as you saw earlier, but this time they have to go through the gap in the wall and every time they do it the gap which starts at five meters reduces by half a meter you see so it's like limbo dancing and the loser I, is the first person to crack i suppose how to go first okay right we're ready Rob, you ready you go first okay my team make some noise for him as he goes off to get ready and do this yeah okay first move over to us right uh oh he's gone he's decided not to <laughs> How fast is it going to have to go to get up that ramp and go through there? It's 50 miles an hour. Right. Oh, here we go! Oh, 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 oh. oh, there you go! Ah, that's yeah. what that is the gauntlet laid down. I was going to say, 50 miles an hour doesn't set that fast, but of course it is when the road disappears. There's the wall closing, it's now only four and a half metres. My team make a bit more noise than theirs for Dan! <laughs> Here he comes, here he comes! Oh! 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 I think I know it. Right, he's turned around. Here we go. That's a wild gun! Yeah! yeah. yeah. That's a wild gun. That was great, but hopefully the gap's getting smaller. Right, what is it? It's now three and a half metres, isn't it? Right, yeah. Dan, do your stuff. Give him a cheer. Now he's like all enthusiasm as much as anything else. This little rasping noise you hear is he's off stage. It's not actually the exhaust pipe, but I think it's a manifestation of his fear. Here he comes! Here we go! Here we go! Oh. Yes, he's done it! Oh no! Haha! <laughs> <laughs> so, well done, Dan. Well done, Dan's what? Bad luck, Yeah, mate. Good luck. Okay, team. This is it. We've got to do this. We've got to do this to stay in the game. Let's make some noise, boys! Come on! Haha! <laughs> Haha! Oh, that's the stuff. 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 Sighting himself up and begin his approach now. Here he comes. Oh, oh, no. oh, no. He's taking his head clean off. That's it. Kill to death. <laughs> Make some noise with him anyway because the man is prepared to die for you. For yeah, both fights, they have to go. That is the winner. I'll be with the winner, ladies and gentlemen. Let's hear it for anyway. I'm very, very brave. This is my first time to be beaten. I think that's a good game, huh? That's, that's an excellent game. game. Although I should explain that um, when we were working that one out, rehearsing it a week or so ago, one of the riders, not one of those two, um, he, he got it slightly wrong and he uh, snapped his elbow off. Off? Yeah. Oh, I bet that stinks. He said it did smart a bit. Yes. Anyway, we wish him the best. He's got his arm strapped up. 
apparently it will be fine. Yes, and speaking of pains in the elbow, always getting that mixed up, um, Jeremy Clarkson is back with us. Here he comes. Oh, good. Wait, 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 wait. Where have you gone? Good news. <laughs> good news. What good? What have you been doing? Well, I've been busy. While you've been out here playing with your friends in their leather trousers, which I know you both enjoy very much, I've come up with another idea for an Olympic sport. Have you really? Yes, I have. Chariot racing. Chariot racing. Yes. Seriously, it used to be enormously popular, as you know, in Roman times. Ben Hur, Charles and Heston, they'd go around the hippopotodrome or whatever it was called. And everybody come, it was fantastic, and it isn't in the Olympics now, and it should be. So that's what I've done. There is just one problem with it. What? You're a big woolly head, head. head. your ideas rubbish. No, not that. Horses. As you know, in the old times, back then, they horses, okay? But horses are swivel like idiots. They get terrified by paper bags in hedges and puddles and any form of weather and any form of noise. So I've got rid of them and replaced them with something else. Let's ring them out, my chariots. Hang on a minute. Are you telling us that you just don't deserve doing all in there? Yes, that's why I was a bit late back onto the stage. It was quite complicated. Really? Nevertheless, let me talk you through the chariots. At the back there is, as you would expect, a chariot which would be familiar to Charles and Heston. But as you move further forwards, we see the horses have been replaced with scooters. Exactly, with scooters. Now think about it, okay? Chariots, old ones, had what? One, two horsepower? Mm -hmm. 28 horsepower per chariot. Yeah, let me just get this straight. So, these guys yeah. are going to race, presumably around this arena, on chariots had by scooters that you make. No, we are. What, on there? Yes. Oh, no, that's, well, no. Who'd like to see us try that? <laughs> see, here comes the Hippopotamus group paraphernalia that we need. Now, let me talk you through how you ride them because they're quite unusual to drive. You know who said? Oh, they are. Okay, this is a throttle here, thumb throttle, such as you would find on a quad bike. That operates all four bikes simultaneously. Uh, I've lifted the front wheels up, all these things seem to gain the gyroscopic effect. You don't understand that. You have steering. But it's fantastically heavy, you won't be able to operate it. So, if you pull the left brake lever, that brakes the two scooters on the left, and the thing will go left. You want to go right, and I have no idea why you want to do that, because it's like NASCAR, you pull them on the right. So the brakes look well like reins. Yeah, now if you step around into the chariot, and you can see I've fitted the seat from a power boat, okay. it's quite tall for you. If you go over a bump, your plans will be mashed to a pace. Oh, that's not nice. But nevertheless, ladies and gentlemen, you are about to witness the physical manifestation of my genius. It feels more really like the physical manifestation of something that you worked up in a brief fantasy moment early on at bedtime. But anyway, you know what I mean. I have no idea what you mean, but anyway, we're going to do five laps according to the starter. Are we going to be killed? Very possibly, yes. Oh, God. All right, right here, here, three, three two, two.
a good idea. You never had, but it was brilliant. I love it. I hated it, but anyway, round of applause for it. <laughs>